Medicare spent $2 billion on the commonly used medical device last year alone, mostly to seven companies. The companies figured out a way to charge Medicare on behalf of people all over the country, including right here in Milwaukee. That's Unilab. The stack of Medicare statements on Mary Spires Duran's table shows just how much Medicare paid on behalf of just one person. January, yeah, January to October. In that time frame, Medicare paid more than 12 grand to a company for catheter she never wanted and never received. What story does this stack of statements on your table tell? It tells that there's a lot of people who try to cheat, cheat the government and that Medicare is not being very careful about this. As we've seen over and over, her supplemental insurance company caught the problem when Medicare didn't. This has been happening for more than a year. According to a national nonprofit group of doctors, hospitals, and healthcare providers, Medicare paid $2.1 billion starting at the end of 2022, mainly to seven companies for catheters. Those seven companies are the same ones showing up on statements of the dozens of Wisconsinites that we've talked to. It was for catheters, two shipments of catheters that I did not order, did not receive. You never requested the catheters? No. Never requested the COVID tests? No. But every time Medicare footed the bill? Every time Medicare footed the bill. In Wisconsin alone, Medicare payments for catheters rose more than a thousand percent from 2022 to 2023, according to the nonprofit. Since 12 News first uncovered the problem last week, dozens more Wisconsinites have called, stuck in the same situation. Spires Duran has reported all of her improper bills to Medicare. Somebody should be catching this, so I guess it is incompetence. And if this has happened to you, report it to Medicare. Spires Duran did, said they were helpful in getting her a new Medicare card, new number as well. The biggest question we have is, why isn't Medicare catching it on the front end before the payment is made? CMS, Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, has declined multiple requests for an interview with 12 News Investigates. It told me today that any reports of fraud numbers may be inaccurate, saying it may show up as paid, but money never went out the door. That's if that provider is on a suspended list, though it would not tell us who was on that suspended list. We called some of those companies, and all of their phone numbers are disconnected. In the meantime, some politicians calling for more oversight as mm -hmm. well. Thank you, James.